that should be fine too. Alright, everyone good? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Alright, who's gonna count it? <laughs> <laughs> I guess me since I'm not running. I'm mean, yeah. not racing. Yeah, you got All right. it. Alright, in three, two, one, go. Alright, nice. good luck, have good fun. Luck. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Good Don't luck. die in DDC, please. Working on it. I mean, it, it, it's probably a lot harder to do that uh, with no, the, the no FFM route, right? Presumably. <laughs> the no FFM TTC is pretty safe. I think. Yeah, since you don't big bomb anywhere, so. Yeah. The hardest thing is probably the trying to um, put the eggs into leaky while doing the move from bobbles to the Oh, time. right. I forgot they used to do that. I forget. How hard is this actually? Because I've never done that before. It's pretty tricky. I i don't really know the best like positioning for pooping the eggs. So, there's probably bad positions where it's really tight and better ones where it's easier. Okay. I kind of had to find like a happy can set up on my own. So far, what's your PB with the, the no FFM route? My first run and PB is a 2.19.10. Nice. Since it's your first run, it seems like very, very like improvable. Yeah, it should be. There were times in that run where I was just like standing still for a minute trying to remember what to do. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> there, that was the run, that was the moment I realized that um, you can't do, you can't get into the church in that Monster Mansion without the speed shoes. <laughs> um, and I didn't oh, kind of fun. Actually, you can't, you can't, you can't, yeah, you can't. You go really fast and you don't yeah, even I, I realized bumper. that. I didn't know you didn't have to pause buffer, but Asmi was in chat and he told me you could pause buffer it, so that kind of saved me. <laughs> you can pretty easily not pause buffer on PAL, I think, but on NTSC it's very tight. Yeah, you need to have like the best movement ever to make it in, in there without pause buffering. I actually did that in my FFM setup. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what prompted me to go ahead and time with one faster. And assuming my timing wasn't god awful, it, I, I'm pretty sure actually the boss buffer spread is faster. 220 bar amount. I love that look. <laughs> Oh boy. Is this Shratless now? <laughs> it's the exact same thing that you do in Shratless. <laughs> yeah. There's probably a, a better one of those mountain routes. But I'm too lazy to try and think of it. I am so not the lag of playing Spongebob for a bit. Yeah. May I ask why you get big buzz when up before like doing all of that? Who? What? You. <laughs> Since you're the only one who does no FFM right now. What, what was the question? Uh, may I ask why you get big bus before doing Tickers Tower? 
Oh, I honestly don't know. <laughs> this is the this is the route that Siv used to do and before FFM was found, and I'm just copying it. Siv does it, so it has to pass, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. four year old route. It's probably not optimal. Maybe. You could grind it out. Wait, why do you need that token? Oh, you're I'm doing FBA, that's level. right. Yeah. You really gotta be the one first called to the FBA. Yes. Forward be adventure? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because you go forward in the lair. Instead of double reverse. <laughs> you could just call it BA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing with forward the adventure is that normally you cannot go forward in the lair as the B eater. Since you get the transformed when going to Furnace Fod. Forget what time do you actually need to beat in order to get to be top 25? It's like a 2.11.30 or something. Okay. Wow, that's good. I think my 2.10.16 is like 23rd. <laughs> it, it, it gets even harder because people are getting better. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy, that's for sure. I mean, 26th place used to be Jumpman, I don't know if it's still the case. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, if you think back, like, when I just joined, when you, the top 20 used to be, used to be so, like, like there, there's almost nobody. Like, there's like 1, 2, or 5, maybe. Like, it was really top empty, and now it's like, Really populated. Yeah. Well, was that jump really part of that MMM of that MMM route? That, that's was. sick. Yeah, I know. It's funny because I used to run this route, and I don't remember ever doing that. But I looked at the video, and it's there. Ah oh, man, you did not go for the damage because that was the perfect setup. <laughs> I know it sets it up pretty well in this route, but. <laughs> Dax is probably offended because it didn't go for the one frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why people would not go for that, but go for Boombox instead, because Boombox totally loses more time if you miss. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it feels so good to get a Boombox, though. I actually got the Boombox so cool. one frame in my second frame, or my second run. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even really going for it, I was just kind of trying to jump to the Jiggy wow. as fast as possible. It's the way nice. you get him often when you don't go for it. <laughs> yeah. Or on the shit you. Wow, okay, I'm already pulling the head. Uh, 40 seconds ahead. I know, I didn't realize how bad that was. <laughs> uh, I, I guess you probably messed up Ticker's Tower a lot. Uh, yeah, that's probably true. Wait, no since, uh, since, 
Since when does bottles talk to you, there? I know, it's, it's a thing in no FFM. I don't know why. I, I, I always oh, in the, in the 50 note door, or right outside yeah. of it? Yes. Yeah, I noticed that when I was doing my FFM setup, too. Yeah, I don't know what he actually says there, but he definitely doesn't talk to you there normally. Yeah, like, I don't know why. It's weird. Oh yeah, you guys are open Clanker's Cavern right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, can you like do? Can you like not do a fr a, a midair jump off of that ramp that leads to the next part? I'm sure you can. Huh. I've I never mean, tried it. Me that neither, be, but that could be pretty cool though. Yeah, I'd love to see a route that in that forces you to do a midair jump. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be sick. I mean, pretty much all the any person category have to do that with dog skip. Nah. But the thing with dog skip is that the game lags as you're doing the trick, so it makes it a lot easier. Because that means that you get to have a second frame for free. Nah. Also, bottles only talk to you once here, and I don't know why that is either. Oh, that is weird. Is it because you already have fetters or something? I don't think so. I mean, maybe, but the, the first fetters I collect are the, the same ones as you usually do. Doesn't it usually yeah, have a dick box that tells you you got all the moves in a level? So if you don't have shock jump, then. Oh, then yeah. That's yeah, true. maybe. I didn't know that there was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that either. <laughs> that would explain it, though. Because I guess eggs also have sweet tech boxes, doesn't it? Yeah, and gold feathers. But. Well, I guess gold feathers would, regardless. Wait, you leave that Jinjo for later? Yeah, this is where the rap thing is. Oh yeah, you go straight for the lighthouse, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah. It's actually faster to, to get the Jinjo now, okay. <laughs> it's weird to see that because nobody does that since like 2012 or something. <laughs> yeah. It's funny looking like if you sort the leaderboard by no FSM, like a bunch of four year old runs, and then my run from like five days ago. <laughs> <laughs> my run is about as good as. Yeah. I'm on the edge of dying, so I might just reset and um, try another one. Would that be faster to get the alcove jiggy now, like, or is it just because you messed up that you could not get to it? Um, I did it later in flight. Oh, okay. I guess it's probably faster in flight. I thought it was because you messed up on this only because you landed on the other ledge. Yeah, I didn't fall off very gracefully. So what is the last gen show then if it's not that? It used to be. Oh uh, yeah. Is it really the orange gen Joe? Yeah. Oh boy. This is also pretty much copy paste from Biz Run from four years ago. Oh yeah, you get the Jinjo first. I was like, that's gonna be awkward to just like do a circle just to get the jiggy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my 
bad. I'm so bad at this. I'm not even gonna do it. <laughs> you nipper skip. Yeah, I don't even. I'm not trying at all, so. Just do an old way. Old way. Imagine doing nipper skip at all. <laughs> And the funny thing is, uh, King Kate Steve uh, learning the new Nippers strat, and I actually helped them. Really? And I'm not even doing that trap. So. <laughs> nice. Good job. I'm keeping the rest uh, alive. I heard that the timing is extremely lenient, but it's just a movement that is hard. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. I haven't really practiced it much. Don't you just love when you poop two eggs while the key ended one of them? Oh, I missed it. Like, what, what kind of sense is that? Yeah, one gets in, the other one's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I hate that. That's so annoying. <laughs> Egg sounds RNG. Oh my god, it happened to me. What the fuck? Is that actually RNG? <laughs> Your angle is messed Dude. up now. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of improvising there because I missed the ball of the second tip. Yeah. Which sucks because now I'm at full health and you're taking damage. Rip. Oh god, I hate this. It's happening to my PD too. Oh yeah, okay, so that last flight section is exactly the same as the current route. Just without big bones. Yeah. When do you get the honeycomb though? Mm. Now? Slowly fly there. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh my god, I missed it too. God, this sucks. <laughs> Are you, are you guys looking forward to Unkinderfine running Grunty's Revenge Mobile on 100%? Oh yeah. The best run. <laughs> One had to take the bullet for the pit and go. <laughs> yeah. Should have taken damage from that guy. Alright, I raised my advice detection, so hopefully you guys don't hear that many people t coughing in the background. And there's already one cough. I <laughs> just <you> said that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I guess it didn't work, but I tried. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> Get an A for F. Thanks. Dude, this guy's not even gonna hit me. Oh my god, I hate when that happens. <laughs> it's so annoying. Yeah, there's like no way of taking damage in this route. You really just have to get to bother with that ship, because then he doesn't replay your health. Yeah. Plus 104 on it. Nice. What is your split time? 18.4. Hey, you're ahead of trying on. <laughs> but now he has to get to open Clanker's Cavern. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like, there just has to be a way to go up there early, like... It's not I that high of a ledge. I think you probably could do a midair and get it. I bet the path does that, actually. Let me check. Maybe. I'm not sure, but I think maybe it does. Yeah, you can definitely do it. I mean, I have a test video tab open right now, so I can just check. Yeah, let's look at this bad patch that look, does not even do for the spot skip. Come on, bad. Nope, the test does not even open clinkers early. Wow. I mean, the, te the test could just clip past the door and be faster. <laughs> because yes, it's possible to do clinkers cavern early. It's yeah. a it's a skip that that can that exists, but I think it was found after Brad did that part, so it's not done. I think it was done, but it was thought to be pet pal only or something. I remember being really stupid. People tried a lot to do it off the aim, couldn't get one, so... Pe people do it on, on PAL and they're like, Ooh, it's PAL only, uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, it's TAS only too, go uh -huh. I'd love to have so at least someone like try to do any percent, but with a 10 skip. I mean, oh, honestly, okay. that's the fucking threat. <laughs> you just do a run, and then you just... Like, and, the, try... and then you like do you... the skip until it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you get the unbeatable world record. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is that you really see, realistically have like maybe four, three or four tries to get the trick since if you mess up, you will most likely activate the cauldron. And if you do that, then you have to reset, then go to click like what again to skip 765, then do for the spot skip again. Oh, for the spot skip, problem. I mean, you could watch the six minute credits, but do you really want to watch that? Sure. Yeah, it's cool Sounds stuff. Fun. It's a nice break before the insanity. Yeah. Let's <laughs> not forget that if you if you get the skip but then fail dog skip, you have to reduce the eight that skip again. Yeah, that's the most intense dog skip of your life. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't you just like uh, update your position puzzle from Grunty's picture? What do you mean? Like, if you step, the, isn't it when you step on a picture and die, get respawned at the puzzle? Like, I don't know. Like if you if you open gobies and then you jump in the lava, which has happened to people, yeah, uh, you spawn at two or like the puzzle piece where you stand on. Wouldn't that work, Dog? Too? I don't know. Like, I know that, I think it was Thunder that was at low health entering that monster mansion, so what he was, what he did instead is that he, like, went into the, the room with the Gopi puzzle, but he just died, like, af right after entering the room. 
he didn't try after the puzzle. That's a pretty smart strat. I kinda wish like fight warping would be more useful in this game because you only do it once I believe. Unless you're a Taz in that case you do it probably everywhere. You mean void walking as in voiding out? Yes. I mean it's done three times in the clock. Yeah, it's all made in that and click lock with Joe. And I'll be B. If you fuck up and oh, yeah. get the back up. Oh yeah, that's right, you have that one strat. I, I forgot that it's even a thing because I've never actually gotten that trick to work for me. Very precise. You have to land, I, I don't know if it's specific one uh, pipe but if you go on one and then get to the very end do a roll and then a flutter can make it yeah. somewhat consistently but like i don't know you might die like I go die and fall past trying to die. yeah I love that Shrinon just got the frame perfect jump there, but then he didn't take advantage of it. I've gotten it before, but it, I've never made it all the way across the gap. Oh yeah, you do have Rat 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 there, like right before. You have to hold down, jump, after getting the frame perfect. Yeah, usually if I go for, for it, but it, I then, don't hold yeah. down. Yeah, it can't match there. Nah. Is this game 30 or 60 on NTSC? 30. Okay, that's what I thought. For some reason, that midair feels easier than my frame perfect. It's probably because the game is lagging, so it's giving you frames to buffer your input. I wouldn't be surprised. Cause I get it fairly frequently. I find that uh, mid airs are pretty easy for us too. Yeah, because you have all the board showing as you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, if you do a uh, soft lock, click off first. And you're just about to get to the flower. There's like this one part, you know, where sprinklers, where you come from on top. There's like this one part, and it's so like flower, and the midair is so easy. But like frame perfect for them. I have no clue what you're talking about, but I guess yes. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> like I. I don't have like the the route and might just the have a... move, yeah yeah since I don't do self lock. Okay, wait. You know when you do bring one, you poop the eggs flower. Yeah. And then you go up path right ahead of you. Yeah. That's that's what I'm. Oh, if okay. You, yeah. If you do that reverse, bring two. That's like really easy to take fall damage or do a mid air. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. You gotta love having frame perfect jumps that cause you to take fall damage. It's never oh, been yeah. useful in any way. Actually, uh, as someone found that use like an attack or something so that you don't I don't know you you take fall damage but in a good spot so that way you can recover quickly. Maybe.
So I recently got my pal X for the runs for nice. and I was like thinking, what if I speed run every game? Now? <laughs> <laughs> like just make it a me and never get the above, never. And if it's NTSC, just do pal. Yeah. I still think people give power away. Okay. Yeah. Like it's probably. only 20 to 30 seconds, and everyone is like, eh, hey, it's shit. I've kind of made it like my. to like show people that power isn't as bad as ever. I mean, you cannot even notice when you lose time, honestly. Because it's so subtle. And Pal is like faster in some sort, well, like... You swim faster. Uh, there's some levels that are laggier, so it like makes it better. Pal. Yeah. Just to know, do you go for the step cycle and at the beginning of clink of clankers because it should be pretty easy with the swimming speed that you have there. I've tried, but I couldn't get it. But I'm very close. I just need better equipment, and I should uh, be getting it. Okay. okay. Most of the times it was just like the button spawn, but loop was like the right spot. Yeah. Wonder what should I do while watching this race? I guess I could do some clinkers. Yeah, let's do that. Let's open my TV. I just love that like, he is like right in front of me and you guys can't hear him. I can't <laughs> hear him just because of how quiet I put my sound. <laughs> nice. Because yes, for Christmas I got a new TV so that I can probably run BK and BT more. Nice. nice. Oh, yeah. That doesn't mean that I'll run BK more often. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but you can. Yeah. The option <laughs> I think doing th five runs of BK a, a year is good enough. <laughs> That's about where I am. So. I guess this is my second run of the year. Alright, you're you're about to reach your quota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better save them. You. Yeah. <laughs> the end of them are gonna be no such them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
It'll probably be a while before I do more FFM runs. Because I still feel like my PB is going to be crazy hard to beat. Oh, I got a 42 clinkers, let's go. Nice. Right. I was thinking uh, about going for the top 5 FFM. But I think I'm just gonna be lazy. So yeah, what's up, Crawfish? Yeah, you should probably focus on just getting your your sub to the end first, just to get it done with. Yeah, I'm thinking about reset. Oh. An actual attempt. I'm like plus two minutes, fine. Damn. All right, let's start a bingo while I'm here. <laughs> Doing solo bingo is fun, honestly. Probably gonna finish FE and set. Still gonna stay in the call. But yeah, when's bingo? Gotta participate to the tournament that's gonna happen in February. If you buy if you buy me the stuff I need for three. I guess I could do it, but I'm I've never even tried bingo <laughs> before. Uh, you know that has uh, Falcon submitted if he hasn't done bingo for Chewy yet, right? Falcon's never done bingo? Yeah. Really? You could try to beat Falcon. I could try to beat Falcon. Is he doing it in February? Yeah. Hmm. But Falcon is better than me at Chewy, so... I mean, I he's, only good, be he's only better than you at no DCW. I guess he did 100% for a while, though. That's true. I think he's played a lot more than I have, though. Yeah, but he doesn't have the 2 e IQ to route stuff. <laughs> Called on. <laughs> yeah, damn. I know. <laughs> oh, that's, the that's the beauty of Bingo. You may be the best runner in the world, but if your <laughs> if your routing is bad, you're not gonna be good. Alright, leg like, like spring, that's a good one. How long are the bingos usually? Uh, 55 minutes to an hour. That's not bad. I want no. The fun thing is when I do. <laughs> when I. Like about the fight clone go, I never know what potion I get until I did the, I do the first hit because I'm look I'm not looking at my screen. <laughs> you know what would be nice? No. Yeah, you don't. But, uh, uh, Endo 64 class would get good controllers. Yeah, that would be sweet. Like, literally every time I'm playing any other game than Banjo, I have like a better control stick, and every time I play Banjo against like joystick stuff. I know, right? I mean, I guess there are some some places where you can buy stuff online. I never had to do that, but I I'm no, I know that it's a thing because people have done it. Yep, I've done it. I my controller is decked out. <laughs> Alright, that category is... 
that real theme slot, so I'm gonna do it. I'm not e when I do these solo bingos, I'm not even trying to go for like the fastest thing. I'm just trying to see like I've never seen that go before, so I, I think it could be good. Let's do it. Fuck you, dragonfly. <laughs> I was very confused, and there was like, wait, dragonfly? <laughs> yeah. There's only one. I was like thinking, wait, is it like click lock wood already? In the fall? <laughs> <laughs> oh but yeah, you the RBA, right? Yeah. Or like the like the, the only dragonfly that is the one of fall. I was like, wait. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's just that I never get enough runs to beat you anymore if I don't. Alright. This is gonna be a long and boring bingo, but it's gonna be fine. Seven jiggies in which world sucks. I mean, it's a fine goal in this, but it's not a fun goal to do. Oh yeah. Do you have three HP at least? No, I don't. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, hey. Hey. I'm doing turtles with one HP, so let's hope I don't fuck this up. Don't forget. Good luck. All right, let's say random colors now. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, I got a really easy pattern. Uh, hit the green turtle. <laughs> there isn't one, is there? No, there's, <laughs> there's no green there's six. All green, there's six, you... yeah. <laughs> there's I seven, like, technically. Uh, oh, yeah. That's true. Wait, does Tip Tip count? Yes. At least you're not like Aqualand, because he's running NTSC, but he doesn't have like a TSC, TRT, so his game black and white. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, it, is it really black and white, on, but only for on his screen? Yeah. Oh. I, I wonder how, how cheap a TRT can be these days, honestly. I think it's just annoying to get the DRT to, like, your home. Yeah. Like, just to tell you, I have 332 inches CRT here, and two of them were found on the side of the road. Well, imagine taking <laughs> a CRT from the street. <laughs> I mean, it's good because. <laughs> like they're the f they're the biggest EVs that we have right now. <laughs> I remember when I played Banjo on the TV, and then I switched to CRT, and I can never go back. I'm yeah, me too. Right now I'm doing the opposite. I'm switching from a CRT to an LCD, and honestly, like, I would say that the transfer goes pretty well. I never really noticed the LCD being bad, but when I, like, started playing on CRT and then went back, I was like, oh my god, this is pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, just to say that you probably had the same experience doing the, the other, going the other way around, honestly. 
Like for the fact that all the your timings were off. Yeah. Holy shit, that was fun. What? I just barely won again for Bucky in race. Oh. Nice. Not that I'm mad. Alright, now I'm... The death drop, but... Now I'm doing Mr. Vile with one health. Let's more, go. more fun. Fun, fun. One round three. I, this it looks is like a fun. One. It's a bouncing asshole. But yeah, have you guys heard uh, heard the news? Like, uh, I think 8-Bit, Mittens, Blaze, and I entered a, com a task competition where we were basically given three months to do a task of a game. And we were expecting it to be super close since, you know, the, the game is like 10 minutes long. But as it turns out, uh, we won by uh, almost two minutes. Wow. Wow. Because because we found a route that saves the minutes by basically skipping the first half of the run. Nope. Yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty cool task to, to watch. If right? you guys want to want to, to watch it, I can have the link after I finish my thank you. It, it's a it's a Japanese game that was released on the PC Engine, which is a console you've never heard before. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's a it's a console that's like super old. I think it's a I think it's a it's the same generation as the Super NES, but I could be wrong. The console is probably older than you. Well, all that probably. Is. I mean, aren't we all pretty young here? It's probably older than me. I'm only 20. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm older than you, Dad. It's pretty funny to think that I'm speedrunning a game that is old. I know. Damn, I feel old. I was five when this game came out. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm like three to four months older than you, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm something like three months younger than DK. What month was the game released? It was 98, right? Yeah. I think it was a pro, right? I guess someone could correct me. BK? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 29th of June. Nine. Okay, so it's not even a, a month then. I guess I'm like a year and a half younger, I guess. Or older, younger. <laughs> I didn't die a vile. It, it's crazy that they were able to make a game like Mario 64 before we were born. Yeah. Yeah, I was three when SM64 came out. I like vaguely, vaguely remember it nice. coming out. That's crazy. Like, my child's... My earliest memory of, like, playing game was Mario Kart Double Dash, and I stopped at it. I remember <laughs> the big, big place on the Wii Circuit. I mean, I think everyone sucked at video games when they were a kid. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, every game I've gone back to to play now that I, like, really struggled with as a kid, it's been like, wow, this game's easy as shit. <laughs> yeah. No. So then I started speedrunning them to make them harder. <laughs> I have to do stadium early to get all of our pets in MT, but that trick sucks. Alright, I'm 0.8 seconds ahead of PB out of bubble clip. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah. Second try. PB pace. Early. I, had a, I had a pretty good gobies by my standards, though, so I'm probably gonna lose time here. Nice. Honestly, Gobi isn't as intimidating as it uh, is said to be. Uh, uh, for me, it's my favorite level of the game. No, I like Gobi's, I'm just bad at it. I mean, I like it too. I do think that like people say it's the hardest level. In my opinion. It's the no. hardest level if you go for Gilby Cliff and Water a Pyramid, maybe. Yeah, but I don't I do think... any of these strats. Well, that's yeah. the not true. The Northam route for Gobies is, is pretty simple and like easy. Yeah, the route I do for Gobi is like the only kind of hard thing is the uh, grab a jiggy. Oh my god, that just reminded me. I lost the run to Grabba because I bumped. Like, I tumbled. <laughs> Yeah, how does that even work? <laughs> I don't work. know, it's probably some precise <laughs> pixel space that doesn't get you the jiggy, I don't know. I guess that there's really a hit bugs on grab buffs or all, it's not only the jiggy. <laughs> Am I, I mean, uh, when you jump on the uh, running shoes, check band on my thing. Yeah. And I mean, there's really not a reason to not make it solid. Like, if you knew how much shit there is battle for being fallen that is solid or that you can stand on, like, you can literally stand on. Basically everything in that. Uh, Even walls? Yeah, there's like multiple where you just climb a wall. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there are a lot of invisible walls and invisible ledges. Shit that you can stand on that you really should not be able to stand on. There's very clearly nothing there. <laughs> I know that in after enough time, there's like, there are some walls that aren't there, but at the same time, they're there. <laughs> it's it's weird to explain, like, you can climb on them with ISG, but not if you are if you don't have it. And then there's DK64, where walls are on the SG. <laughs> yeah. What are walls, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're just a couple of textures put together. Yeah, I, I watched Connor a bit today and he was like swimming and he, and he zoomed in and then he just swam the ball and I was like, okay. Nice. <laughs> that, tr that trick is not hard, it is not easy by the way. Face walking is, is something that's quite a full frame perfect. Quadruple? Yes. Wow. Four, four consecutive frame perfect inputs. I think it, you have to do like... On the joystick it goes... You, actually it goes... Down, neutral, up, neutral, and then on the, on the last neutral frame you have to press Z. Is it even possible to like... Um... Move your joystick from down neutral to up in three frames. I mean, people do it in runs. Is there like okay. pause buffering? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you just keep doing it until it works. It, but it's a good thing because it takes like two seconds to just give it a chance so you can just spam it until it works. This game is a funny game. Very funny how the how the game does work without the extend pack. It's. Uh, you, I thought you could not even boot the game without it. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a game breaking, like, like. Okay. Like, like they tried, but they just so they just added expansion pack to it, yeah. and that made it work. Like that's how scuff that. Game. It's some sort of memory leak, and it doesn't actually fix it. It just patches it enough so that you won't notice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good job. I mean, that's one way to fix it. Just add more memory to fix the memory leak. <laughs> yeah, so that way you can actually run play the game for a long time, I guess. I wonder what the DK64 remake would look like. Oh god. Huh. It wouldn't be nice to have more polygons. <laughs> and, also, oh, and also they would have to make, it, make the console performant enough so that way you cannot lag <laughs> through stuff. I mean, if a, if a game like Breath of the Wild can exist without really doing frame just in case it's forward to... I never understood how the, that game could work without even lagging that much. Like, there's only a few spots where Breath of the Wild lags. I mean, it's a big game, so I can, like, look over there. Yeah. I recently beat that game too. Main game. Like I started with I switched to see to an LCD now just because I, you know, it's my new it's my new TV, and now I'm about to do Star Spinner as Mambo. What the heck? Don't listen when the, li the lies that people say Star Spinner as Bumbo is not a hard trick. Go, go, you say every trick. Yeah, yeah because that's true. <laughs> people are like, who is Star Spinner as Bumbo is that's illegal. I still think that dog is deep. I've never actually tried it. Eh. It's either I mean, perfect or double, or like tr two frames, if, depending on the like that you get. Objectively seen, kind of hard. Reality, kind of meh. Like, right. it's frame perfect, but it's like also like, yeah, so... Yeah, basically. Alright, I got the Grab-A-Jiggy. Yeah. Big yeah. epic. Let's go. Like a boss. But then again, there's like other speedruns that do like move both frame perfect and shit like that. Uh, you know that in A uh, Link to the Past, that game runs at 60 FPS and there's a trick that requires 27 frame perfect inputs that need to be done in a row. Is that even RTA viable? No. Yes. 8 tenths games. Really? <laughs> Speaking of RTA viable. Uh, hot rates. Indeed. Five people. Uh, four. Four, four actually, actually racing, four. yeah. Uh, imagine me racing VK on my gun roll. Imagine me not Oh yeah, good one. 
Come on, you know me better, Brad. Yeah, just like imagine you watching anybody with more than five viewers except for PG. <laughs> um, for, the, for the longest time, I used to not watch PG, honestly. I think PG is like, you oh, don't like him, but you don't. I have no problem, uh, man. I, I like PG. I think he's pretty uh, genuine. If PG's stream is good when I'm tassing, otherwise, if I want something good to watch, I'm not watching PG. <laughs> I should That's just scream. One the, I should just scream all the routing that I'll be doing, and then you can have a nice background screen to watch. Yeah, I'd love to have it actually. Right. Yeah, on my way home now. Alright, it's time for Star Spinner as Mumbo. Let's go. Like, like Bra Bra Brad told me the, like, get a how complicated routing of a tankit is. And it's yeah. like annoying. It's, it's literal. Just... Yeah. Anything, anything goes. Like, you can do so many different things. Yeah. And, it all, and if you think about it, it just all seems like it could be just as fast as anything else. Yeah. Like, there's so many possibilities that if you think about it, you constantly think about something you and you're like, that faster. Like, alright guys, pick the 10 fastest tokens in MMM, start from the beginning of the level, and uh, leaving the level with the pumpkin. And don't get any notes or anything else, go. Mm. <laughs> Is there away. even 10 tokens in Mad Month? <laughs> 20. There's, yeah. there's 15. Oh, 15. Huh. Okay. Does that even include the logo one? Uh, well, yeah, okay. There's it's technically 16, 16 there's technically yeah. It's 16, but yeah. Maybe that should be the task challenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Because where it gets real dicey is, do you leave the level, uh, or do you, do you end the level, like, transform and then immediately death warp, or do you transform and then go do stuff as the pumpkin? Oh, uh, yeah. You can also do mid-level death warps. Because you're not getting it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because you don't need any notes. Wait, where would you dead warp to? Uh, perhaps the well. Oh, yeah. There's a token in there. Yeah, uh, that's not really uh, right. I don't even know where you would start. But yeah, right now I'm I feel like you have to go to the, uh, the fountain area. That has one in the whip crack, one in the corner, and then the you well is right there. And even then, you don't know if you need 10 tokens or if you need 11 or 9. Yeah, exactly. Because, yeah, it's just dumb. Like, he, he uh, told me that raising Clanker uh, is like one possibility, but if you find four Jiggies that are faster, uh, raising flankers, you could take those, but like, it's, it's a... Yeah, that's wild. Uh, you know that you don't need to race clanker to race to actually enter it, right? With yeah. the task. That's the, that's the idea. <laughs> because you can't... Yep. Oh my god, what what about this? You know how there's like that one out of bounds anchor? What if you just flip out of bounds to go underwater and do the uh... That's part of the idea, yeah. But how how would you get up? You would death warp down five feet. Is it possible to climb the anvil just to take fall damage? 
No, it's not, but you can take fall damage off of the key. Jump on the key. You can jump on the thing on top of the key and take fall damage from there. Oh, okay. I mean, if, if uh, the deck wall doesn't reset time to raise, that sounds like a good plan. It doesn't reset no, if you have the jiggy going. Yeah, if the back jiggy is still there, then it lowers him again and he dies. Yep. <laughs> Yo, 44 second Gobi's goal. Very good. <laughs> like a boss. But are, are yeah. you on, on no FFM world record phase? I am not on world record phase, but I'm on a pretty hot PD phase. <laughs> yeah, I would really doubt that you'd be bopping Steph's time with. That run. My FFM PV doesn't stop. PV. <laughs> oh. Dude, it's just insane. It's yeah, like, like a 206. 207. Man, why does Witch World Vigis feel so slow? Perhaps because. because all of... minigames? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have to Witchy do. World is like the bubble blue from Banjo 2. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least I don't have to do dodge him domes. Because that is the one big one that sucks. Oh, the kids. Uh, I actually wonder if it would be faster than... Actually, it would be slower than Star Spinner, honestly. Because I, I don't need Taxi back for anything. No. Why am I getting pack whack? I don't need that. Need it for the hot pack whack jump. <laughs> I don't need it. Like, what do you need pack whack for in this? You, in the game, you need it to reach Cauldron Keep. You need it for. You don't I need it to reach Cauldron Keep. Like cross, I mean cross the purple shit. You don't need it. How do you do that without Super Banjo? Pretty sure you can still do it without Super Banjo, can't you? I or has anybody no. not tried? Like, why? Why would it matter? If you have faster movement speed. Can you only do one of those like jumps? I mean, PG's explanation that he gave me said. He basically said that it was from the invincibility from the split up pads that you were able to do it, but I, I could be wrong on like re saying what he said. Oh, really? I mean, actually, uh, I didn't think about that. That's entirely possible. If that's the case, then yeah, then that needed if you don't have super mini -ball. All right, time to do hoopery! Yay! Get over uh, 110. Get over 108. Yes. I should My do first that one good these days. We could go back and try to try to beat that again. But I don't. I, I don't have a CRT anymore. So I need to need the play on Amaret. Uh, uh, oh, do you know? Well, do you not have an LCD then? No, I don't have any. I mean, I have a, I have a TV, but it's like, it's like it's a smart TV, so it's like it wouldn't really. It, I saw. Uh, okay. Well, I don't really give that much of a shit. Uh, I've been on. Uh, I've gotten like multiple 108, but never. Nice. You just have to get so fucking lucky. 
I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much what every game. I wonder, I wonder if doing attempts on Xbox would make it easier just because you lag less. Because I know that for dungeon domes, there's a clear advantage for using Xbox. Like, you're able to move faster while the timer is at the same speed, is that what you mean? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll see, yeah. I'm behind because I quit the direct. Because my run is big. And. Yeah. I guess right. my title is through it. Alright, time to do Balan vs. Yay! Who was just talking? Is that you, Madeline? Yeah. I need to turn you off. Alright, say something. Test, one, two, three. Okay, I can hear you better now. Yeah. <laughs> I think my talking volume is pretty messed up because I have headphones who so have noise cancelled, so I hear my mm. stuff a lot. Half the volume. I just have to adjust people to some on like my phone Discord. You know, uh, some people, I, some people, it, I just have to adjust their volume. Yeah, with it's can. I think with whatever, with like phone or either like cheap headphones, it's hard to hear like low pitch sounds. Yeah. So yeah, the routing take a long time. Probably for this task, but I do have currently like five minds working on it. Like, good. good. Okay. Um, mittens, 8 bit, you. Mittens, no. <laughs> mittens, mate, I don't know. 8 bit suggested him, but I feel like Mittens probably wouldn't be interested because he, uh. He might be interested, but he's super busy. He's busy and he has other projects and he's more interested in. Stuff, yeah. so. he's, like, yeah. he's really into his GBA passing and stuff right now. So Banjo's kind of my thing. And I'm also yeah. into my GBA passing. But it's me, 8 bit Cole, as me, and Cow Guy. I would replace as me with Stiff after that snowman stuff this happened yesterday. That was too good. <laughs> no, Stiff doesn't give a shit about task stuff. I mean, yeah. he does, but I'm not actually working on it. Like, Cow Guy already knows how to task. Although he has. Like, to I would be most of the one who's like up, but like, we need all these minds on the routing. Like, they could like boat out a room and figure out like what's the fastest strat. And then when I get there, then I just do it. I know what movement to do. Yeah, yeah. I, I could I, I could do it with alongside the banjo pilot Taz when I get to that part. Honestly, if I had more time, I would be interested, but I'm just not the... the I'm just the person that does it right. Yeah. Like, Which... figure out, figuring out a run is something that's actually really fun to do, but it just takes so much time. And it's tough. Sometimes, like, you literally need to just not even do anything, but think about it for, like, a month. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like, there's, there's, almost, there's, there's, there's almost no point in timing things for, like, a while. Because, a little while. Because you just, like, always think, like, oh, wait, I could do this instead. And you just wasted your time timing something that's now obsolete. And stuff, so yeah. try to just like puke all the ideas out of your head first and then and then start more time and stuff. <laughs> and I think it can definitely help if you have someone else that's like on the project for well, yeah, some time. Like, 8 bit comes up with ideas all the time that I, I would have never thought of. Like, I would have never fucking thought of do that for 18 no <laughs> Like, I sat, in that, I sat in that room and tried to look at ways to do that skip forever. Like, I would have never thought to do what he did. 
Now, I will say that he flipped out of bounds in that with, in talent trot on that, like, on that exact spot a long time ago. And both of us were like, all right, all we gotta do is figure out a way to flip, not in talent trot. And we couldn't figure it out. And I was like, if there's gonna be any way that that can happen, that's gonna be it. And, and it was. <laughs> Uh, uh, what was the way? Was it the big barge? Well, no, well, yeah, that's how he got it, but like, just clipping on that thing, not in talent trot, was the key. Because you can flutter out of it, whereas, like, talent trot, you can't. And you rat attack, so. Oh, uh, cute. And you can't make, you can't really maintain any momentum. So, that was the problem. has me has good routing ideas too, he comes up with shit all the time. I mean, yeah, just just see like what are you all the things that he found just for a 100 percent. Yeah. All these optimizations. Yeah, he's good at like the one two second ones. Yeah. Honestly, my my only mission on this earth is finding stuff on the yeah. Like the waiting to clip or like other stuff parallel only. Yeah, and then you have Captain Cole, which is not a good name that you hear often, but he does all the the stuff in the background that makes everyone happy. And the MS Paint. Cole is super underappreciated because like it, he honestly helped me route half the 100 percent tasks that I made. Years now, so, like, yeah. Cole's just the encyclopedia of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you ask a question, he's always that one person that knows. Yeah, he definitely does. Like, <laughs> the meme was like years ago, like, whenever an idea was thought of or like something. Because basically, what I did to like route the hunt to tasks a long time ago is I tried to use YouTube channel and figured like found all of, like the little things that you found like, <laughs> or, like for example go be rings not that was like one of the things and then like Cole and I would sit in hall and talk about it route it and then we'd say hey we found this thing and then chronicles would get triggered because we did things without asking like the whole community to help with the routing like <laughs> I get including people but like there's there's only like certain people that care about like wanting to route it and like doing it with one or two other people is infinitely easier than doing it. like no let's ask everybody what they think and then yeah. and then you have then you have like and then someone comes in wow 300 messages and someone's do start drama on PK Discord. <laughs> I know, right? But yeah, me and Cole sit in calls all the time with that. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think I'm gonna go eat now. I'll be right back in a few bit, a few minutes. Okay. All right. BRB. Honestly, how uh, now that like it's are like more understood, how uh, are we any closer to MMM or the LPA? Um, I mean, if it was working on it on his stream, I'm like trying to find a setup, but like, I'm just imagining the day where I wake up and see MMM only being RTA viable and everybody just has to run on path <laughs> out. Like, that'll be funny. I mean, I understand all of you not like Pal, but it would be so nice that my, all the knowledge that I have for the stuff like, <laughs> finally has a use. <laughs> nothing wrong with how it's just getting the equipment is annoying yeah oh yeah that's the only reason i don't run on is to be honest yeah because you don't have the equipment and i mean the clips are easier and why would i choose that over time
I think I'm gonna gold mad monster too. Oh yeah. Big pog. I'm golding like every split because this is my second run. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is the nice thing about running a new game, is like, all your golds are so bad. <laughs> yeah. You can just gold everything so for free. So just like, look at your splits and see a minus two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> if you're ever feeling down about yourself, just run a new speed game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the strat. If I'm pissed off a of Banjo, I run BFBB. Yeah, no, that's, it, that's the same, but the opposite for me. <laughs> that's why. I, yeah, yeah. That's why I picked up banjo in the first place was because I was burned out. I found it pretty funny since I'm like in the farm coming kind of and like in the banjo and I just saw Sim and you switching to banjo. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I at the same time was switching BFPP. I was like, hey, that's just like a school day. See, it, it's <laughs> it's funny because like Zim and I picked up this game completely independently too. Like we didn't. We didn't talk about it at all. I just saw him in the BK Discord one time and was like, shit, you're in BK? <laughs> BK definitely has uh, one of the most like, active leaderboards. Yeah. Uh, or at least people with 100% on there. There's like, what, 250 or something? Quite a lot. Alright, 18 second MMM gold. Let's go. Nice. I'm at Twinkle FP Ollie 25.1. Two oh seven thirty eight. I just don't have. If I'm not stupid, so people. But honestly, I fucked up a little bit last time, which comes up to 10, so I don't know if I can do it. Like, instead of entering gold fetters, I just entered telephone. <laughs> it, it went downhill from that on. That's unfortunate. I saw Flame Forge got a sub 210 the other day. Oh yeah, yeah he, he like that was like yesterday. Yeah. I caught the very end of that run. He shook off all of the, uh, the rust from World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, I fucking still... like, I, I got to level 50, 53, I think, on my Hunter, and like, Morning. I just couldn't, I couldn't fucking play anymore. What's up, ass? What's up, hey, ass me? What's up? It's not morning. Well, it is 1.07 a.m. <laughs> it's uh, 6.06 p.m. for me. 4.06 p.m. <laughs> 7. Yeah. Imagine not being off time zone. <laughs> like, there's like those three main time zones. Like, America, and like Europe, and then there's also... I mean, and... there are not a lot of people in my time zone, because I'm in the middle of America. It's like most people are in, at the coasts. Or yeah. Europe. If you're in yeah. Mountain, then, yeah, there's like nobody. I know more people in Canada in Mountain Time than America. Yeah, Canada is like, like, Banjo's invaded, like... Yeah, well, I think Mountain Time even has more than Central Time, and I'm Central. So I think mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the most... I'm the least populous time zone of the four main American. Although there are six time zones that America's in technically. Right. But Alaska's probably the Alaska, actually. yeah. Alaska and, and Hawaii are the reasons for that. Well, I guess just Alaska. <laughs> are you plus seven or eight hours that you're compared to Europe? I know e uh, you East Coast is... You so it should be plus seven. Yeah. I'm plus like, eight. I think. Are we plus eight or plus nine? Mountain is plus eight. West Coast and Canada West is, Coast plus is plus nine. eight, right? Is no, West Coast nine. plus nine? Yeah. I think, yeah. Okay, I'm plus nine then. <laughs> I don't even remember. I'm on West Coast.
West Coast is like absolute like fuck for Europe. To the car, it's so silent. I don't know. Rod is really, know. really hyper focused, you know. Mm -hmm, totally. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm on PB pace, so. I am too. So, this is gonna be a big PB party. <laughs> That'd be nice. The problem with this is that my PB actually got buggy in the first try. <laughs> so I need to like. <laughs> I mean, if you have a good to... enough lead. Yeah, I could waste a good enough a good amount of time there, but there's a good chance I messed that up like five times in a row. Honestly, Boggy SP is almost like boosting, cause like, the thing with cruise boosting is that turning is like absolute ass, so if you miss something and you have to turn around it's like really bad, and I think the B as Boggy is like the same, you miss one target. Oh yeah, yeah. that makes sense. It is no point. <laughs> I mean, that was really unrelated, but I that was just fine. Probably not a bad comparison. It's okay, I... I like... I'll have crossover dreams of like... doing speedruns of like crossover games of the games that I play. Nice. Like, I had a dream I was doing a speedrun of Final Fantasy XIII with cruise boosting. <laughs> <laughs> That'd probably speed up that game significantly. <laughs> yeah. Might be less than five hours long. <laughs> what about cruise boosting TSSM though? And what now? TSSM. Uh, well, they actually, there's like an AR code to do that. Uh, I've never even played movie though, so like, I don't really know how, I mean, I'm sure it would completely change the run, but. I don't really know, like, what would be different exactly. I own movie two times. Hello? Hello. What's up, man? Hi. Sorry, I got a call. Okay. Wow, like, they gave me. Said hi and left. <laughs> <laughs> the guy. What a guy. I was gonna ask him why he was. Like, having a issue with the TTC peer. He's like, what's so complicated about it? <laughs> so I, I need your guys' help. So, I just did the right leg, and I missed the left note, the left leg that you get, but what do I do now? Get it on the way back to Mumbo's? As well as? Nah, I'm already past that. Oh, uh, well then. You get, it. All right. get it. You get it before the second race. Yeah. Should I get all notes then, or just the one? No, you keep left leg for the race. If you're already down there, you probably... Uh, actually, I don't know. I would still do left leg just to keep buggies. It's gonna be the same. Any difference of whichever way you do it, so... Yeah. Well, I beak bombed past the last snowman and landed, so fuck me. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I've done that. Yeah, I Wait, used to right do it a lot. I'm, I've been better about it, but I just fucked it up again. I'm like on the way to rescue Becca Bay, and I zoned out and started going for the Mad Monster Mansion puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. And did one and be like, wait. Yeah. I, I have that with BFBB. Like, when when I was in the 
the last stage of the SpongeBob fight. I've watched him so much that I wanted to do the cruise boost and like the absolute uh, fast strat, and I was like, wait, I don't do that. Like, <laughs> I, have, I haven't had that yet. Oh. No. no. When are people gonna start going for the double buck? What is that? I saw you talking about that last night, but I don't even know what it is. It's an attack. Oh, the Wait, people were talking about button. it last night? Yeah, because Steve was talking about all the strats just, are easy. Yeah, he was like, oh. just do all the strats, and everyone was like, okay, yeah. so this strat, and knows. this strat. <laughs> and Steve was like, okay, it's strats within okay. reason. Double buttons, I, I did it in my PB. Sure. Yeah, so it sounds like it's free then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize what was referring to. That's that thing, like that bit in the past, the first time I watched it, I like had to pause the video and like think about it. <laughs> that was so sweet. Yeah, but the past does double button. Oh, yeah, it's like insane. Honestly, just give it time. People do the clankers, have them, the leap key and flight now. The beat box. Like, just I'm give not, it a tie. I do that. It's not bad. A 100% task now would also be stupid to run. Because of all, the, like, the places you can flip out of bounds right now. With all these things. Yeah. Like, flipping into the church, and then flipping back out of the church. I don't say it, the piece for a break of the... Like, he, ju he just found one of those, or like, found out where it's like... This, this place gets one, and can do it yeah. there, eh? Yeah, it was about understanding how it works. Alright, I'm gonna go for the notes around the right leg in the second boggy race, so let's hope I don't fuck that up. Good luck. Haven't actually done that in a run before, but I've done it like in practice. Doesn't seem too bad. Is that a scuff? No FFM strat? Huh? Is that like a scuff? No FFM strat? Oh, I don't know. Is what? Because... Like going. Oh wait, that wasn't you talking. No, that was yeah. that was me. <laughs> I, I am I running. Have difficulties. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Recognizing your voices. I know, like Trinan is that really deep one, and it does like something between. I don't. Know. <laughs> no, I am just running regular old FM or FFM. No, FFM does do weird stuff for the, the leg notes, though, because you don't actually do two body races. So, like, what I do is I ground pound and then recoil off of the top of the hat so I don't take fall damage and then get the notes and then go back up to body pound and drop off the present. Right? Yeah, at least I think so, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, so you would do the knee, Jinko's, Foggy Brace, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, the Jiggy and, uh, Pipe. Pipe, yeah. Uh oh. Honestly, the new 100% pass is gonna be epic. Like, all of the shit. And it, like, basically, you clip into every level. Alright, I fell like, off the snowman. That's not good. Uh oh. I landed in the water, though, so I only took one damage. Depending on 
your height, speed, or well, your speed would already be max, but depending on your height that you fall from, you actually could take damage and, like, just not hit the water and take damage. Oh no, that actually, that actually happened to me. I had lost a run that way, uh, the other day. Yeah. I should really just stop falling off the snowman. That's really all there is to it. I yeah, mean, man. at least, at least you're not like just press the Z, <laughs> uh, B, uh, oh, the whole time. Someone get the clip. <laughs> and it's really not the only one. He's done that multiple times. <laughs> Wait, who did that? As uh, Oh. <laughs> He did that in C in any percent, 100 FP on top of him. I want to get Even people to use my shock spring strat so that they mess up their muscle memory. <laughs> Wait, which strat? So, when you're charging the shock spring, so like you do the little hop off the ground and then you, you're charging it while you're on the ground, hold C, and then when you get to the top of your jump and you like you know flutter and then get back to talent drop wherever you are you have zero chance of accidentally ground pounding that's mm -hmm. interesting I guess that's useful for like the Clank of Heaven alcove. I mean, it's useful wherever, you know. Like, it's like if you find yourself accidentally being busted, wasting time. Especially because like, you have to make a cycle. Really, it's, it's just a preventative measure. It's yeah. all you have to save any time. I hate clankers. Me too. I think it's my least favorite level. Clankers? Well, yeah. let's just make it two minutes in the task so that <laughs> it's not boring. Okay. Like, question. Question for everybody. Question. If yeah. raising clanker was five seconds faster than not raising clanker, what should the task do? Probably raise clanker. Really? Uh, like, for entertainment purposes, because, like, not raising clanker is, like, way more entertaining. That is true. Only five seconds, you probably don't raise it. I would have said not racing for like two seconds back. Although, you know, in theory, you still know you save five seconds on it. And like, most people that watch it won't even. So I guess go for entertainment. No, I mean. Yeah. We'll have someone we comment on the video. Put in the description to say like this could be like five seconds faster, but all right. Chose this route. I golded FP by less than a second. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> You'll love to see it <laughs> with the Did landing. You get the hat trick? Is that the hat trick gold? Uh no, it's because I actually get the notes around the legs during the races now. Oh wait, oh I see what you're saying. Yeah, three in a row. Yes. I thought you were talking about like some trick with the snowman hat. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> like I don't do any hat trick. <laughs> All right, well I landed on the Mad Monster Mansion layer jiggy. Let's go. That's a fun time loss. Just use the beat. Or... Yeah, no, this is <laughs> this is honestly the m number one reason I want to learn RRBA. 
You know, back in my day, you had to learn RBA or don't do it. <laughs> and I did. I learned RBA when I had a 245. Wow. I'm I'm pretty confident that I'm never going to learn it early. I really don't want to ever do it. It doesn't look very fun, I'm going to be real. I mean, if I ever get a time that good, then sure, but... I'm going to put it off for as long as possible. <laughs> I just hated the whole RBA route. Like, Clank first, DS, then Gobies, bro. Okay, Falcon oh, was... Man. Falcon was right, that FP layer jiggy uh, is super free. Oh, I just yeah. had to actually learn how to do it instead of just bullshitting every run. <laughs> <laughs> My last, my PB last night, I legitimately almost ran out of red feathers because I missed that so much. Oh no. Yeah. I got down to like two red feathers and I'm like, what if I don't get it <laughs> before I run out? <laughs> then you RBA. I actually got it on my, I, I was on my last health point and I had two feathers left and I finally got it on the last one that, That's that killed cool. me. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, it's, it's all or nothing. Item management in this game is so fun. Alright, I should get a fat rusty bucket gold here if I don't fuck up majorly, because I always lose time to that jiggy. I mean, if you're out of your room, the rest of the level is pretty chill. Also, my PB has like three minutes of time saving click clock wood, because I was like. It was super late, and I was like zoning out and just forgetting shit and falling off the tree. Classic. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I could potentially get sub 230 this run, I think. Do it. Do it. Sub we'll see, though. I have to not die in engine room or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> people to get sub 230 to get that bingo square. Oh wait, yeah, what's the bingo square? My... I think I have that one. I think it's I think like it's... top 100 is oh, okay. sub 230. That's gonna happen, I think. I, think. I don't think it's top 100, I think it's like top 25 or top 20. There's a different one for top 25. Top oh, 10. Sub 210. Yeah, cause like top sub... 25. Top 25 is already sub 230. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. I'm... <laughs> you really have to get, you have to get like a 212 right? to get top yeah, I, play, I think it's a 211. Yeah. I can't, honestly, I cannot remember what, what bingo, like, I think I, I think that was one of them that I picked. I definitely I picked it because I'm going for it. That. And I'm, I'm, I'm pissed that fucking 810 skip was literally found like, <laughs> right, right after we started this. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, nah. <laughs> There's like nothing to indicate we were any closer than we were, and then it's like, hey, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, well, 8-bit messaged me one day, and he's just like, you can't tell anybody, but I have a promising, <laughs> you, but I have a promising lead on Skip. And then, like, then he kept being all secretive about it, and then he started being like, hey, so if I were to make a video, if I found if I found eight ten skip and if I were to have found <laughs> Hypothetically. a video on it, uh, would I uh, would you be okay with me saying we're gonna make a task of it and like how much time does it save and all these things? And I'm like, okay, so he he clearly he clearly, like, found, he clearly found it and then like he wouldn't tell me like I'm like so you know like what's your method and then he's just like it involves getting around the door. <laughs> ah, cool, thanks. <laughs> All right, I made it past engine room. Big oh, pog. Yeah. Well, I mean, he could be also going through the door. He could also he's on the door, maybe. Yeah. yeah. There are a couple ideas, but... I mean, he wasn't lying. Oh man, I didn't do your backflip, lad. And then For it turns time. out that whole time that he was just waiting. <laughs> He was making the video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
and like the day after that, he posted like the uh, weird pictures of Banjo at MMMO at MMM Enchant. And I was like, wait, MMM early got found? And then it's like, no, it didn't. And there was like, there was like a, a mention from Brad, uh, like, at Banjo designs now. And I, and, I, and that threw me off because I saw the picture thing and I was like, something happened. Hmm. Yeah, I saw those Mad Monster Mansion pictures and then it turns out they were just like bullshitting in the voice channel <laughs> about like his banjo's feet or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> I had to think of Hong because I watched that uh, Skyward Sword run and it, like on YouTube, but and the fire name was Hong. So every time, uh -huh, that's unfortunate. Oh. Yeah. I know all the Zelda runners are really trying to avoid Honk in the name. Yeah, so it was like Honk every attack. I watched very little of PDQ, honestly. Like, I've seen some of these runs before and stuff. I've never actually played Skyward Sword, so I wasn't even interested in that. And, you know, yeah. it was like a two hour skip they found or whatever it was, but. Yeah, yeah, Skyward Saws just got so broken. Every 3D yeah. Zelda did, except TP. RIP TP. RIP TP, one day. Oh, uh, sorry. Then... Sorry, go ahead. And then there's like OT who got like three minutes past the, the, the other day. Yep. Yeah, Agent's Tip was also found on that same day. <laughs> it, was a, <laughs> it was a day for uh, SXG4. N64 Magnet. Sadly, with uh, any like tasks that are made, like OT would 100% get in like a task spot for like a 810 skip banjo task. Yeah. It's just not yeah. interesting enough. Banjo needs like a hot movement technique, but <laughs> there isn't one. <laughs> Honestly, we we did an up warp or like an up warp technique that was pretty benefiting. We have like, hyper we have hyper buoyancy. Let's go. Absolutely not at all. Not incredibly situational. <laughs> not even useful. You can get stuck under things and clankers and build up like a ton of Y speed, but then like it just I don't know what happens, but it resets back to zero after a certain amount of time. So I, I think it like tries to clip you through the floor and then like it doesn't work. I don't know like how the collision works in Banjo if it's like Mario where there's like quarter steps or whatever. But yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I broke my gold foot streak. I broke my green split trick. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, the game. What is it? So, um, I mean, what's your bucket with the uh, TNT? You get four notes and leave. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one in. Oh, yeah. As we died in that room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, how do you even let that happen? 
Like, you have to ask who ate me on the quest in the blue crate. Like, that's impossible. And then you need to get And then you need to walk out of your way to go towards the TNT. Yeah. But what's worse, that or dying in the winter? Mm -hmm. I think that's a little worse. Like, wait, how do you I... die in the honeycomb in the winter? There's uh, droplets in there. Yeah, oh, there's the a bunch of them. Like the nano one. If you died in the acorn room, I'd be questionable. <laughs> I'll just go on a bit. <laughs> nice. There was one time where Max was doing a speed run, he was supposed to get shit, and he came back and he died. <laughs> Can't remember. Can't I remember didn't... what. I I thought I thought it was it was like tower to quiz round was three. Tower tragedy. Yeah, was oh tower god. Tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> I lost. Take a shit. Didn't have enough points. Imagine, imagine, take a shit. Tower tragedy is so boring. Ooh. I mean, we're talking about Matt Daz right now. Summer is terrible. Honestly, it's not looking very good for my run. Plus seven out of nine. Oh uh, no, not plus seven. What will you do? I, I don't know. I will try because next was Gobi's goal. Third, oh. third day. Yeah, what's up, Landon Staddlehofer? Dude, Stiv needs to, like, stop worrying about runs and just be, like, plus five seconds out of clankers or something. He needs to just continue. I agree. Unless he has, like, big hindsight to clank. Get it. Well, his beginning CPU is pretty good, I think. Like, not the best, but... He has, like, 45 seconds to save between, like, major rusty buckets, so, like... Oh, okay. yeah. He, need, he needs to just, like, then, like continue more runs. Yeah, yeah. like, I think... PB. Honestly, that's good advice for a lot of runners. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people should have one split for the first four levels, like I do. <laughs> Like, I think most of this, like, no dead runs actually get really far on a decent good pace. And he definitely has to do the back, but, like, not full lead in time. I think with all these, like, new early game time saves, he's just, like, trying to be like, yeah, I should be more ahead right now. So... Yo, it happened. Let's go. What happened? I got the uh, navigation moon clash. I don't know what that is, but oh nice. my god! Oh, oh the no. It crashed. Oh, it did crash. It's on stream right now. What the heck? Well, <laughs> get the clip and the beat this go. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten that crash. People have said it's not even possible on Pal. Honestly, I'm not even scared anymore. <laughs> that room cast is not. I don't even know if it's possible or on Pal. For when well, we know it could be. Nobody knows. Nobody but play Pal. Yeah. I mean, just try to get hit intentionally. Maybe that will help. That will help the tells the testing. I mean, I've done that before, and I was like, oh. Uh, like I, I don't know what you have to do, but I've been getting there before, and literally not happened. Oh, maybe it only happens on certain N64 serial numbers. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's gotta be it. Yeah. That's what Kroniki's explanation was for Tika's Is the only? No, no, no. Tika's no, no. no, no. no, no. 
and then like there's a clip there's an out of bounds clip and flankers that you can do and cole was the only person who was able to get it on his console on ntsc and like some people were do able to do it on pal but the conclusion that chronic Keys came to was uh that dust in your console affects the way that the hardware works Either that, or <laughs> the, or certain serial numbers on N64 have different hardware and therefore affect the flipping in the game. Hmm. Eh. I, d I feel like if both of these sound wrong. She did a lot of drugs, let's just say. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like saying the TT up warp and S64 was thus combo. <laughs> now, yeah. that one actually was like a weird, it was a flip bit, but I don't know if anybody figured out why it happened. Uh, it's a console mal mal malfunction. Yeah, uh, so yeah. Okay, I golded Rusty Bucket by like a minute and a half. <laughs> just because I actually, just because I actually didn't spend two minutes on the FP layer jiggy. Dude, what if there was some crazy glitch in BK that only happened when you got 2005 in the top left corner? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, how would we know? I don't know. 8, 10, B spawn. Oh, you yeah. know... You know what? <laughs> yeah, spawn the, the 2005 thing when in front of the antenna and then it will despawn. So I just realized I've actually forgot the uh, Clanker's Lair Jiggy on the way uh -oh. back from MMN. Oh no. <laughs> right, because you don't go past it in no FFM. Yeah, uh, I guess I just do that when I go to open CCW. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's not awful. Man. Damn, that means my FP gold was fake. The one by less than a second. No. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rip. Rip the hat trick. Oh well, the other golds are legit though. Alright, I'm, al uh, I'm almost done with my segmented bingo. Sweet. All I need is to get all the notes to go learn leg spring. <laughs> Yo, Brad, are you still? Yeah. Um. So, do you know that to bomb like land normally and slide off like the ground that you were landing on, you get a jump there? Uh, I couldn't really make out what you said. You keep like cutting out. Yeah. You need to talk louder, I think, or lower your noise gate. Okay. So you know how. If you beat bomb a land on the ground and you slide, slide off the ground, then you get a jump there. Do you know that? Get a jump midair. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess so. Like, I have like a lid off of the ledge. Like a jump or a flutter? A jump. I guess I'd have to see it. Uh, I don't have a video, but if you like, you know where the house is? If you peek bomb there and you slide off the ground, I think you should be able to get a jump off that. Like, that happened to me and I was there. And I was like thinking maybe it could help with attack or be useful in any, uh, like, Big deal on ice, let's break in. <laughs> Alright, third try. It's been so long since I did that trick.
Did you guys know that jump through the sarcophagus uh, at the end of Maze Pyramid? What did you say? <laughs> yeah, I kind of missed. Yeah, you, you, like every other syllable for you cuts out, basically. <laughs> so, at the end of Maze Pyramid, there's like a weather jiggy. Uh, yeah. Where you get the jiggy. You can jump through that. Yeah. Like, question one, do you guys know about that? Question two, would it save time? Yes, because I used it in my Gobi's test, and uh, I don't know why it happened. <laughs> I mean, I was just assuming. When I did it, I was like, okay, it helped. Yeah. But then I, I did it a few times. Not help. I love how incredible my note route was for this beginning. I failed winter clip. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's okay, and I'm at one health, so if I take damage from this ice cube. Uh oh. Okay, you know, I'm gonna do the safe strat. I'm just gonna go the long way around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't wanna lose this. <laughs> okay, jump off the left. Hopefully, okay. like, a man doesn't measure or something. <laughs> Actually, I kind of need health. Where's... Okay, there's, like, hides around the, uh... Get some, and I'm kind of going to get your health. I'm choking. Same. No. But honestly, what do I expect of not playing? Alright, let's do one more thank you. I re I'd really love to have some people racing men bingo, but nobody's at, is available at any time. Maybe you should race me, Iper. Or Shrinon. Liking only for me. Nope, <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I uh, if I fall off before the caterpillar by the fall witch switch, is there a backup? Uh, you. Uh... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I think you get the one that you get at end of some death. And then you have to get the next one for that back up. Uh Well wait, I need one before the before I get to the bird in summer though. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, that's that's what I meant. Which yeah. where is it? You get the one in the branches above Mumbo's before going to the bird. Oh you okay. Drop right after it and get it. Oh gotcha. And then there's a easy. And then you button. get the one in near the treehouse in fall, I think. Yeah, the pretty fast one. Okay, gotcha. Wait, the one when you first like jump up to the branch by the treehouse? Cause I already get that one. No, the uh, it's on the shelf pad in fall. Oh no no no. Okay, yeah yeah. Sorry, I was thinking of summer. Come 
Okay. Wow, that was a terrible quick luck with. Are you still on fifth? On twenty fifth place, please. Uh, I don't think I ever was. <laughs> oh. But I am on TV page. I'll get like a. Well, it depends. I'll probably get like a two sixteen or two seventeen. If I don't mess up the body B too many times. And don't get a push question. Oh. No, 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 you know when you like in engine room you get stuck on the on the turn no, out of the yeah. You I almost mess. fell down. <laughs> <laughs> That's always super scary. Yeah. It's only now after that happened that I realized that run almost like dead. Like, if I didn't save it somehow, that's fine. Okay, please do the too. Let's go. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And I guess also like use all the notes that I gave. I've never done it. <laughs> yeah, same. He can confirm easy. Easy. It's easy because in the former 100% world record, 8 bit got it first, right? So that means that it's easy, right? Yes. Hmm. That checks out. Someone got copied the one try, so it has to be done. <laughs> but... But 810 skip is a bit hard because nobody has gotten the first try yet. Yeah, is it even console verified? <laughs> oh, I missed it. But... Yeah, we gotta show that proof to, to Oli Oliosha. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, that caster especially pretty much only does Atari games and Com Commodore 64. Yeah, I got full box. Yeah. That's what I needed. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh god. Like, I heard text boxes. Did you fail Blocky Race? I've failed it twice now. Oh. oh. <laughs> B is hard. Ask me to suck it. 8 bit disagrees. I mean, 8 bit, 8 bit is really the one that took it like to this level. That we are not now. He did it years before everyone else because he cared about any percentage and castle percent. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, 
Hundred percent is just a better category for this game. No. Hundred percent's a better category in most games. I am out. Any percent's really dumb in a lot of games. If you ask me, especially, I would say no to that. Oh man, I lost like all of my time. <laughs> Because I don't, uh, I think that all the categories, including Trotless, are better than, than 100%, except for No Dog. How, how is Trotless better than 100 I, I have, I had more fun running Trotless <laughs> than 100%. Yeah, there you go. No. I mean, fair, fair enough reason. Yeah, you can't really argue against that. Have you done trot less than one other person? What the fuck? I mean, try not to die. Then trot less. Not... Trot less for the first half of my boat. Yeah. I'm still young. I lost a minute and 18 seconds. The dog here. But, uh. We're still probably gonna PB. As long as I don't get a picture question. Even if I do get a picture question, because my PB got one. Honestly. I mean, it was. Like, you couldn't know, but, uh. I really did want to be reminded of the question. Now I'm paranoid <laughs> that all my efforts of like, getting the run somewhere destroyed by our. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and and the, the the thing that worse is it hasn't happened. Yeah, it never happened to me when I was running regular. FFM. I never got a picture question. Imagine losing runs to a quiz. That's the grandest event runner. I mean, you guys have some pretty light RNG compared to GR. It's still. I mean, it does. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Honestly, I prefer Park Gap Furnace Farm. Just because I had like some control over the RD. Mm -hmm. I have never done furnace fun prior to Nympha skip without dying in a run. It's actually true. Why did he die though? I don't know the questions to the answer. I don't <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know anything about this game. Sam. Okay, I'm gonna assume I have enough feathers. I don't actually know, but for one. I have 50 for feathers. Example. Is that enough for winter? Yes. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you need like 36 at least for Something like that. I'm, I mean, if you have 50, that's the most you can have. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was kidding. <laughs> if I manage. Oh, 50. I definitely heard 15. Oh. Like, mm, that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Imagine not using. So she get 100 feather. Oh. Imagine, imagine running 100% without cheese. <laughs> Wait. Imagine not running 100% attack. In the only category. And there's even two iterations of that category. So like, yeah. where's the problem? It's a it's a category that's constantly evolving. <laughs> Keeping it changing rule sets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of loud cheats so that we our white goose gets to have lots of fun with the big oh hit. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, I, hate so I, for, I forget in which game, but they like allowed like a mod to like lock the RNG and then he was like, wow, cheating is allowed for this game. <laughs> but people all agreed that it was good, so it's not really cheating. So I mean... like FFM. Or Ginger. <laughs> I mean, that's basically locking our. I mean, it's, it's locking our energy for, but for only one thing. That it roughly it's... has a 1 in 50 chance, I believe, or something like that. But how much does it save? Uh, I mean, you have to do it. I believe that it's something like 3 seconds that you lose each time you don't get it. <laughs> Uh, well, um, as I say that, I see like 20 seconds of time saving. So I better be fast. Alright, so I forgot to get the backup worm on the way to the birds, so then I just went up to the one at the top. Alright. And, then I, and I, then I fell off and had to. And I had to climb back up to the bird. Whatever works. <laughs> yeah, it was unfortunate. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I can sub 230 anymore, but I'm definitely gonna PB. Nice. Get the next time. Yeah, it should be easy once I just clean up some of the dumb shit I'm doing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go a I, mean, uh, I would say that the key to, to like go fast is to simply to not take any break during your speed run. So if you have, think you slow down too much during a section, you should probably fix that. Honestly, everything until 210 is really like from 240 to 210. I've been in five minutes. I mean, I would say that without practice, you can probably get it. Uh, yeah, you can probably get a sub to them just by spamming rods and I maybe learning new routes and stuff. I mean, I only did 27 attempts in order to get my sub to 20, and that's surprisingly low considering that some people had 500. But you, you have played before, so it's kind of doesn't count. Yeah, like, I, I guess it's like trying on going for Subterrain Dewey and he's done like six runs or something. Yeah, like the games are not the same, but the controls are similar. So you're good at what you fast the other one. Yeah, it makes sense. I also practice a lot, because I didn't have access to my N64 over winter break, so I had like three weeks of practicing. I was on emulator, so it was a little bit stuff, but I still like, learned everything uh, pretty thoroughly. How, how did you even do that? I thought uh, the game crashed very often. I don't know. I mean, I used the. I mean, I did some runs on. I did some runs on emulator. I never had a crash. I mean, for BK, it's not the same thing. Oh, are you talking about? Are you talking uh, yeah, about I'll... something else? Gotcha. I'm talking about Tui because this game, Tui really likes to crash on a Mew. I never really got a crash. I mean, it took a little bit of like finagling to get it to work, but. I eventually got it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and I'm guessing you would have no lag? Yeah, there was no lag at all. Yeah. Well, at least you get to practice the tricks, I guess. Yeah, that was the main thing. And it was really easy to do the safe stage. Yeah. yeah, you could try like shots like the TDL Jinjo shot over and over. Yeah. Alright, this is a pretty hot winter, TBH. Ugh. What do you guys do again, nurse? I'm starting to... Uh, 
be nervous. Don't like it. What's that? Uh, oh my god, Len, you're on the run of your life. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is what you say when people get their roots. <laughs> Was that a joke or like actually? <laughs> it's a joke. I don't actually watch your stream right now. Oh. <laughs> well, I I finished. I got a two seventeen forty five. Nice. Nice. Bye. Winning the race? I don't think I've lost the race yet. I've been in three. And I've won all of them. Honestly, I could win most races if I just... Yeah. <laughs> I could win most races if I was, like, good. If I didn't crash, I would still not win races. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, if I'd actually if I actually click care about the BK Hondo, I'd win all the races. <laughs> yeah, no, same. I just play for the lols. <laughs> the thing <laughs> is that it's actually true for me. I only uh, as me well, like one said that he was gonna do like weekly BK BT Bingo if I got sub to twenty in a month. So I did. I did so I did 19 days of runs until I got it. Honestly, the most fun runs are the ones that you have to bring back. Like, <laughs> bless you. Um, I'm plus 33 uh, out of RBD, and I just save almost 20 seconds to bring one. Oh good, I got washing machine. Nice. Has anyone ever gotten double T Rex? I haven't. Hello? Nope. Oh. It, it went really quiet. And like, from other races, I know that that kind of time got put into AFA after a time. So I wasn't mm. sure if I just landed on the AFA run. Okay, so I had to get the Clanker's Layer Jiggy in that split, and I only missed my gold by 40 seconds. It's a really bad gold. Imagine having bad golds when you've done like five runs. I know, right? <laughs> it feels bad. Uh, it's hey Spencer, I am playing Banjo, so you don't have to riot. Riot anyway. I'm no riot. <laughs> Thanks for the good luck. I'm pretty sure I've already lost the race, Spencer, but appreciate it. I'm gonna PB though. Uh, here's how to win in two steps. The first step, old Z, and then throw your controller. In pray. And then, question mark, question mark, question mark, draw. Yeah, it's close. Oh no! I wonder how many times that meme gr got brought up since that clip actually happened. Wait, I got the. No. Is it faster to go up the leaves or like the the other stuff? All right. It's the leaves that it's faster if you only need to go up. Shit. 
a dog, uh, like, in any prison in San Castle Prison, we actually do that with... Uh, we actually do that in fall God because it's damn faster. It. I literally got a grunty question right. Oh. On, on the dude. fucking death square. Nice. Wait, what do I do here? I don't have Joker cards. Cause I got a die. grunting question. Yeah, how do I die? Yeah. Uh, like you forgetting you jump in the lava? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, just do like FFM. Good point. That was really unfortunate. I got a I got a grunty question on Joker Square and Death Square. All right. Well, I'm still pretty big on PB pace, so let's go. As long as oh that doesn't God. happen like six more times, we're good. There's no way it is going to happen six more times, right? <laughs> Definitely no way. That would be insane. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Are you guys doing another one after that? Probably not. Okay, I'll I'm not. I have to be fit for my race tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I have a, yeah, I have a GSA guess. race tomorrow, so I need to actually practice. Oh, I got a picture question. Cool. Let's go. Uh, a, a GSA race of what? Uh. A uh, battle for Bikini Bottom. Okay. I didn't know that that game was run at GSA. Yeah, there's a tournament. Uh, for, all, for all I know, like GSA is only like Mario Odyssey, Mario 64, and not maybe a great enough time. All the Banjo Kazooie tags. Yes. Also that. And Mario Maker. Oh, and, yeah. and I think Diddy Kong Racing. Oh. And those games in the world. People used to run BKR, I guess. Alright, I lost like two minutes to Furnace Fun, but I'm still three and a half minutes ahead of PB. So Easy. should be good, yeah. See, it's ESP. Because somebody's got it first try before. <laughs> True. 2 HP and 4. Hello? How many feathers do I have? I'm sure I have enough. I actually had a good winter, so... Well, in theory, you only... You only need four in theory, but I usually use a few more than that. <laughs> uh, I, I thought in theory you needed three. Oh, I don't know. Don't you need four beak bombs? Do the I'm... double ground pound strat. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Yeah, do it. The food, it's easy. The Taz got it first try. <laughs> okay. That's reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you beak bomb Grunty, but you can actually ground pound her, and the Taz ground her, and the recall all that itself have ground pounded again, which is a few feathers. And like, item management in the past, in the past is obviously get as few as possible. So, two feathers are pretty valuable. I mean, yeah, the test Brad really like tried to route every collectible in, even the feathers and the eggs. Okay, I think I'm gonna head out. Okay, see you later. Good luck with the rest of your end. Alright, thanks, yeah. GG. Later. See you later. Bye.
honestly, the thing that sucks about pickup wood is that if you're low in fall, you can't get help because you know by the end of winter or spring too. So you just have to run around with like low HP the whole time. Just don't take damage. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I, I forgot that it's dead. Just don't fall. Just understand that the hitboxes are bad and that you're gonna get hit anyway. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Yo, Thunder, thank you for the raid. And good luck. How did you run go? How did you do the friend though? Alright, I almost be big barge off of the stage there. Also, hello to all, all Raider, JVT, privately will. Any percent, they were all bad. Thing around pass FP. That sounds like all the game again. I'm trying to get this to get this up to ten, but it's not very good. <laughs> Bless you. That's fair, Thunder. You, you got your PB 107, so that I'd probably be fine with the category check. Alright, three and a half minute PB, I'll take that. GG. Wait, am I top 100 yet? I think I am now. Let's go. Let me see. Getting close to the couple hundred sub 230. Yeah, I am now 98th. Nice. Or wait. 97th. Nice. Congrats. Big pog.